Hey everyone, welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork Kitchen where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we're experimenting with a recipe from Cuba. It's called a media noche sandwich. It's very similar to a Cubano sandwich except that it has a different type of bread which we're gonna go over in a little bit. The first thing that you're gonna need to get started is some pork. We're gonna be roasting a pork loin. I got a center cut boneless pork loin that came in a package of six, but I'm going to be taking three of these pork pieces and putting them in an eight by eight inch glass square dish. I have a tablespoon of olive oil that I'm gonna drizzle over it, maybe about a half tablespoon on this side. And then I have one teaspoon of honey that I'm going to drizzle over this too. With that, I'm also going to salt and pepper the pork to taste, and then do like a little rub situation, make sure that the honey coats the entire side of the pork before we flip it over. On this side, we're gonna do almost the exact same thing, except we're not gonna add the honey to it. Again, you can use your hands to just rub it around a little bit, make sure everything's coated, and then we're gonna bake the pork. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees, and I'm going to put this entire baking dish in the oven for about 30 or so minutes until the pork is cooked through. You'll know that your pork is cooked all the way through when you have a meat thermometer that reads an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit for the pork. Okay, so now that our pork is cooked, it's time to assemble our sandwiches. So I mentioned earlier that the main difference between a media noche and a cubano sandwich is the bread. A cubano sandwich is on like a thinner, crustier type bread, and a, a media noche sandwich is on a more like eggy, light, airy bread. In this recipe, we're gonna be using brioche buns. You can use a, a challah bread or something else as well. So you might be wondering, where does the name media noche come from? If you know Spanish, you know that the word media noche translates to midnight in English. And the reason that the sandwich is called midnight is because it's named after the time of day when it's most typically eaten. So uh, there are a lot of sandwich shops or um, little stands that sell these sandwiches outside of nightclubs. And so a lot of people will leave the nightclub, they're feeling a little intoxicated, need a little bit of a snack, so we'll stop and get this sandwich. And so eventually over time it came to be called a media noche sandwich because it's normally eaten around midnight. I'm gonna lay out the tops and bottoms of our sandwiches. On the bottom of each of our sandwiches, I'm gonna put two pieces of ham. Every time I make this recipe, I change up the type of ham that I use. Sometimes I use a spiral cut ham from the deli. Um, one time I used a ham steak and like shaved it into pieces. Or you can just buy like pre-cut um, honey roasted hunks of ham and heat them up a little bit and put them on the bread. So that's what I'm choosing to do this time. On top of the ham, we are going to add the pork. In some cases, um, it does get a little thick, so you can also like put it down um, and slice it horizontally into thinner pieces. That's always an option too. I have six tablespoons of yellow mustard. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of mustard on each of the tops of the bread. I also have six slices of Swiss cheese, so I'm gonna put two slices on each of the sandwiches lay them kind of off kilter from each other so that there's always pretty corners when the cheese melts on the sandwich. I have nine baby pickles, so I'm gonna just cut the stems off the top, and then I'm gonna cut each pickle into slices. I have nine here, so I'm gonna put about three pickles on each sandwich. Again, we're building a sandwich, so it's all up to your preference. If you don't like a lot of pickles, you don't have to put as many on. If you love pickles, you can put as many pickles on the sandwich as you want. Now that the tops are on our sandwiches, we're gonna set these off to the side for a couple minutes and I'm gonna show you how to prepare the pan so that we can grill our sandwiches. In order to cook these sandwiches, I have a nonstick pan on a medium or so heat and i am added about just a half tablespoon of butter to the pan. Um, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of butter, uh, so I'm gonna reserve some of it so that I can continue to cook each of the sandwiches. And now I'm going to put one of the sandwiches in the pan. And this is the part that you might not expect. I have a heavy bottomed pan here, so this is a cast iron skillet, and I am literally going to take this skillet and press it down onto the sandwich. This is gonna mimic the effects of a panini maker, but if you don't have a panini maker or, I don't know, just wanna make it a different way, then this is a good option too. I'm gonna keep this here until our sandwich is totally toasted on the bottom, so I'm gonna check it periodically and wait until it's getting a little crispy and then 
we will um, flip it and cook the other side. And that, my friends, is how you make a media noche sandwich from Cuba. It's quick, simple, and once the pork is roasted, it really comes together in five or 10 minutes. It's a really fast, easy meal to make when you are craving a taste of Cuba. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching this video. If you need written instructions on how to make this recipe, I will drop the link to them in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. And then also check out all of the other videos that I have on my YouTube channel because there are recipes from countries all around the world and some tasty things for you to try. Don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week and I will see you next week. Bye. <coughs> no. You wanna say no. <laughs> okay.